is it going to be Harvick versus Elliot 3? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. NASCAR Cup Series Xfinity 500 from Martinsville. Woohoo, the paper clip. Whew. Now, this is the cutoff race with a round of eight. Final four go to Phoenix. As we know, the last two cutoff races have been wild. Three cutoff races in the regular season at Daytona. Is that race not wild? Bristol. <laughs> we know what Bristol did. Bristol was one of the greatest races in NASCAR history. Oh, the Roval didn't disappoint now, did it? Now, the last two tracks, Texas and Kansas, nothing was going to happen there. We all knew that. Here's where the fireworks happen. Now, my opinion, which I don't think I really talked about this, but maybe a little bit, on the Roval. Yes, Harvey took out Chase Elliott. Plain and simple, we all knew that. I think Harvick was so worried about Chase getting it, going after him, that he overdrove the corner and crashed. I don't think, honestly, he was making it out of that corner if Chase would have got to him. I love how, I mean, immediately over the radio, <laughs> karma. This race is going to be wild as hell. I think you got people on different agendas. You got the eight guys going for a championship, you got people wanting wins. You got Chase Briscoe and Denny Hamlin. We all know what happened at Indy. We got Elliott. And we got Harvick. <laughs> wild is the only word for it. You know what? Martinsville has always had wild races. The first NASCAR race held at Martinsville was September 25th, 1949. This track hosted the sixth NASCAR race ever. 54 different drivers have won a grandfather clock. As we all know, the grandfather clock is what the winner gets. Martin Truex Jr. has won three of the last four. Joe Gibbs Racing has won four of the last eight. Back in the spring, Martin Truex Jr. was number one, Chase Elliott second, followed by Denny Hamlin, William Byron, Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Christopher Bell, Tyler Reddick, Kevin Harvick, and Kyle Busch. In the last seven Martinsville races, Three wins and an average finish of 5.7 for Martin Truex Jr. Joe Logano averaged a 6.1 with one win. Ryan Blaney's averaged a 6.71. Brad Keselowski 8.43. Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch both 8.71. Chase Elliott 8.86 with a win. As we know, playoffs, eight drivers. You know what? I didn't write down the points. Go me, right? So, before I get into the points here, as we know, I've seen a lot of things on social media about the playoffs. People hating the playoffs. We don't need the playoffs. Get back to the old way. You know, back when racing was racing. Okay. So, right now, we have Joey Logano minus 26. We have Brad Kalsowski minus 6. Martin Truex Jr. minus 3. Ryan Blaney minus 1. Kyle Busch plus 1. Danny Hamlin plus 32. Chase Elliott plus 34. The most points you can get into a single race is 60. The only person locked in is Kyle Larson. We know Kyle Larson is going to Phoenix. We have seven drivers, three three spots, four of them separated by single digit numbers. Wild, huh? Now, what I was talking about is two races left. In 1994, Dale Earnhardt Sr., with two races left, won the championship. He ended up winning the title by 40 or sorry, 444 points that year. So, what would we think of this race if Kyle Larson had already wrapped up the championship? Would many people want to watch this race? In 1991, Dale Earnhardt won the title. The, day before, the race before the last race. All he had to do was start, I think, top 20 or something, 
at the second from the last race to win the title. Still had a race left. Why would we not want this type of racing? I wasn't a fan of this all beginning either. 100% was not a fan of this at all. When they first came up with the playoff format, I'm like, this is stupid. I want the old way. They came up with stage racing. I'm like, <laughs> they came up with elimination. I'm like, <sighs> but then I watched it and realized, you know, race 26 of the year means something now. Back in 1994, it didn't mean nothing. If you look at, you know, you know, the era, multiple times Dale Earnhardt won it before the last race. No one cared about the last race. Now we care about race 26. We care about race 29. We care about race 32. We care about race 35 because there's something on the line. If you look at other sports, football, baseball, baseball, for a perfect example, World Series is going on. It's the best of seven. More than likely, most a lot of years it does do this, it'll come down to game seven. Each team has won three. You have one game, winner take all. The Major League Baseball playoffs, the wild card week, one game, winner take all. NBA Finals, best of seven. Game seven, winner take all. I mean, look at all of this where they do that. It comes down to one game. You put your best pitcher out there, your best hitter. Yes, see what happens. Football. New England Patriots. Undefeated regular season. Were they given the Super Bowl? No, they lost in the Super Bowl. A perfect season because it came down to one game. You have a race. It comes down to one race. Playoffs at this point in time make sense. You take 16, you cut them down, you cut them down just like just like the playoff World Series. You have the wild card, you have the divisional, the ALS, NLCS, World Series. When it comes down to game five or game six, you have somebody a chance to win, they fail, they come to game seven, they win it. So I think the playoffs... Could they be a little bit better at times? Yeah, but has the, has the racing been good this year? Oh my God, the racing's been awesome this year. I think this Xfinity, this Xfinity, this Xfinity 500 at Martinsville may be to go down as good as at Bristol. Now, who's going to win? I actually have not wrote down my picks yet. I'm doing it right now. Just like I did in the Xfinity race, I'm doing four picks this week. A couple of them belong to the same team. So I could have just did the whole team, but I'm just going to do four picks this week. Now, I've been doing three most of the time in the Cup Series. And last week I picked Kyle Larson. He won. I picked, who did I pick in the Xfinity Race last week? I missed that because Ty Gibbs won. The week before I did pick John Hernemanchak in the 54 car. I did pick Ty Gibbs this week. Um, I'm 14 and 20 year to date on the Cup Series. I'm happy with it. I've had fun. I've enjoyed it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's take a look here. It's almost like who wants that grandfather clock or who needs a grandfather clock? We remember last year, because we were talking about Chase Light being plus 32, Joe Logano was plus 42 missed or Kevin Harvick sorry Kevin Harvick was plus 42 last year did not make it to the championship because it had an issue can Joe Logano win this sucker he won multiple races before it Martinsville you know what he's going to be my fourth pick all right my four picks to win at Martinsville Kyle Larson he could possibly sweep this round of the playoffs. Be his 10th one of the season. He is the first driver since Dale Earnhardt Sr. I believe there was 19 in 94. Let me double check that stat. Oh, I'm sorry, 87. Kyle Larson, the first driver to win three straight races twice in the same season since Dale Earnhardt in 1987. The second pick. The winner last year, 
Chase Elliott. He is plus 34 this year. He doesn't have to win because last year he was out in the playoffs unless he won. Now, what happens? Final lap. The nine car and the four car. <laughs> oh, I know those two are going to mix it up. Trust me, there will be paint swap between the nine and the four. Kevin Martin Truex Jr., he won the spring. He can win it again. He is currently minus three. Doesn't this like have to win it in, but it would be kind of nice if he did. And then Joe Logano must win minus 26. He doesn't have a choice. I don't think he can point his way in. Now, my final four uh, for the playoffs. I said this in previous videos. Let me find my four. My four was Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson is already in, Denny Hamlin, and Martin Truex Jr. So Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr. So that's been my four for all along. Even when I did the preview for the playoffs, I believe that's who the four that I went with then. Let's see, everything in from playing. This is the night race at Bristol. That was a wild night. No way. That was before that. Here we go. Play a preview. Kyle Larson, Martin Church Jr., Chase Elliott. Oh, and William Byron initially as my fourth. And I've put in Denny Hamlin in there since. So, all right. That is the Xfinity 500 preview, the playoff preview. We'll see you next week for NASCAR fans for Phoenix. Four videos. The Arco West preview, Camper World Truck Series, the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and then the Cup Series. And then after that, the offseason. Please follow our support show during the, the uh, NASCAR offseason. Plenty of NASCAR videos coming your way. The NASCAR Champions Profile Series. The countdown, the 100-day countdown to the Daytona 500. One of the great videos I'm going to do for that. As always, thanks for watching our Average Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports talent content.